time is 11 46 p.m the date is the 24th of june 2020 it's a wednesday wednesday hebrew acknowledge t993 wednesday if the soul is born to a male queer coup to a female a queer soul's characteristics controlling and advocate today the land stood on currently in Ghana, it shook, earthquake, it shook twice, the whole house, I'm on the third floor, everything shook, everything shook, Ghana's talking, so listen to this, I'm going to show you a formula for restoring Ghana and making Ghana great again. But it's a very, very easy formula. We're going to do what we call a test area. We're no longer going to install general laws for the whole country. We're going to test the laws. We're going to test them first. See how it worked in our test area. So we're going to pick test areas for different implementations. So the first one, for example, Tema. 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 And then all the way to Bachona and all the way to Nungwa and Teshi. These places are tourist hospitals. They're also where all the goods come in and everything leaves. It's also the seafront. And the seafront is littered with junk. Our communities are littered with junk. So, simple step. I want to recruit all these people, our volunteers. But they have to be between the ages of 14 and 16, 14 and 16, I need for now, I need them to come from the Tema, from the areas I have mentioned. I need as many of you as possible. But certainly we need about a thousand. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to then seek funding because once I've registered you and I've told you what it is we're going to do and you've accepted to volunteer to do it, which is to clean our communities, but in a very particular way. So once you've accepted to do it, I will then lay this, my blueprint in front of the Tema municipal community, in front of the MP, Carlos Ahenkra, and I will say, your constituency needs to adopt this as a trial to see if it will help Ghana as a whole. And what is the trial? It is very simple. We recruit these kids as volunteers. But watch this. They will get minimum for each day's journey. So we will have places for them to go, areas for them to, you know, commute to and from and they will have some little bit for food. Or we will make deals with certain restaurants where they can go and have a meal at a certain price. But get this, we will uniform them up. We will uniform them up. The first phase of the exercise is simple. With the uniform and with a little ticket book, and with the support of the police, they will patrol our markets, they will patrol our streets, they will patrol our back roads, they will patrol our houses, they will be our kids, our children, but they will be taught in the art of cleaning our, our nation and its importance. They will have what we call tongues. Tongues are little things you use to pick things on the floor. We will provide bins in certain areas which will, they, will, they will be very familiar with. So if they can't accredit the rubbish to a certain individual, 
they will get rid of it themselves. But if they spot an individual dropping litter, they will approach that individual for the first three months of this exercise. They will ask the individual kindly, whether you're an adult, a child, whatever, they will ask you kindly to pick it up and they will direct you to the nearest bin. Now, if you refuse and you try to cause problems, the closer support members of the public, including the police or the army or the navy or whatever, if they're close, will join in to help this rather important infrastructure builder. If that becomes the case, then you could face charges criminal charges for literally which can carry up to two years people forget that it is a law and it can carry up to two years for the first three months you will be kindly asked by these infrastructure builders to simply correct your mistake if you get a ticket which will be worth five cities you can pay by mobile money or cash and you will be given a receipt whichever way. The money will go into an account. That account will be used to furnish these kids with a little bit to put on themselves. With the uniform, with, with the equipment they need. But most importantly, this money will be used now to approach engineering schools engineering schools in Ghana here and the challenge will be set that we want to clean our gutters we want you to be ingenuity and come up with devices that we can use to take rubbish and sand and silt out of our gutters a method in which we can use to keep the sand out and the rubbish out so the first one is we've got the kids stopping it from happening. Now we need to clear the backlog. So come up. So the University of Ghana, your engineering students, now put your heads together. Come up with as many devices as you can, but try and finalize on one. University of Kumasi, K University, this, that, that. All the UK codes, all the universities in Ghana, all the Ken's houses and all the Ken's men or the final year students who are now meant to be engineers. Let's see how ingenuitive you have become. So this money will be there to, to fund, get this, to fund these projects. The best ideas will go forward and will be developed and they will immediately be given and they will be, or people will be trained on them and they will be used to clear our gutters. The best methods. We conduct this exercise in this locality for exactly two years. And then we collect the statistics. So, visually, how does Tema look after two years? But on the books, in terms of the infrastructure, now that we have people who, who volunteer but are somehow rewarded constantly, learning, young people constantly churning. Every year we have 14 to 16 year olds churning every year. But for, for about two years, they earn money cleaning their country. This becomes a habit. After two years, if other places feel like this method works or even after six months if other places feel like this method works it is very simple we come in we register the kids we set up everything and boom it's on and boom it's on but get this how well have I thought into this? Very well indeed. Why do I say this? Because, get this, 
there are funds available from the African Union. There are funds available from um, the European Union. There are funds available in Ghana here given to one of the banks by the European Union to, to fund um, creative ideas that reduce a nation's carbon footprint. Well, by collecting the, the plastic and sorting them out, because I won't just let the kids collect them. We will have sorting areas and we will be selling the plastics we collect in the bins that we have after sorting them out. So all this money will be going back to regenerate the regeneration of Ghana. But if we implement this strategy nationwide, because we have never done it, we won't know how to control it. And we won't know how to collect the statistics and to see if it benefited us. And we won't even know how to budget for it. That's the problem Ghana has. Everything is implemented nationwide each time. But you have to test it out first. We know the population of Batrona. We know the population of Tema or all these areas that we're saying. You test this thing out them for two years. You get a customs, you get a price, and you, you get rough estimation, but very close. You get statistics, you get numbers to work with. Now you know the population of your nation. Can the nation's bank account support a rollout of this, of this idea nationally? Can it support it? If it can, you go ahead. If it can't, you say, okay, but the nation can support maybe 10 more districts starting this. So let's do 10 more districts. And then we'll carry on after every year. It's simple. For almost four months, the nation's kids have not had to go to school and they're sat at home doing nothing. All the kinsmen and all the kins horses, they're taking exams and they're sat at home doing nothing. In Ghana here, we have national service. National service. To support these kids, these 14 to 16 year old kids, just like the school system works in Ghana, where you have juniors and seniors. We could divert a bulk because national service is not just about going into an office. It's not actually national service. Most of these people work in offices. It's not national service. National service is what the Chinese do. You actually work for the nation. And you remember that you work for the nation as well as yourself. So get these, um, get them to join in. There, there, there are, listen, there are things to be learned from this. There's an office system attached to this. Now your national service can be serving your country and learning the skills for this. There's a call center attached to this. Because get this, the kids when they're on their journeys and they come across, they will be taught health and safety. They come across a road blocked with someone's delivery of cement or delivery of sand and it's hazardous. They will serve that plot a notice and then they will call in the call center and make you aware that they've served the notice here and this is the problem. They will know injunctions and this is the problem. The adults will come in and locate someone or find a way to locate someone, give them a certain amount of time, normally seven days, to get rid of the problem. After seven days, we will come and get rid of the problem for you. But the cost, the cost will all be billed to you. To you. We don't have to wait for the government to do anything. But get this, when we do start it, the government has no choice but to support it. But we have to show initiative. So once we begin this, 
locally here. The next aim is to now get the organization because it's, it's an NGO, it's a non um, profitable organization, it's a non governmental organization, but now we have to get it recognized as an organization by the government. And then we have to get the organization's dealings in terms of how they support the infrastructure of Ghana into recognition. Once we've got that, we will have access to government funds purposely, purposely put there for these projects. Also, there's a company in Ghana, it's called Zoom Lion. They are into the cleaning business. They are into the recycling business. I am sure they must have a fund for such creativity. They will put in their funds as well. Now, there are other funds available. Like I said, the EU, the AU, the African Union. We can tap into these funds to make sure that we, we set this project up to reduce Ghana's carbon footprint and also to raise the bar and show Ghana for her true self as I see her. As I see her, I shook twice today. Okay. We can be that show. We are saying it in the Antimuqua. And then, you could quit that. We could be clear. Your president, Nana, could be a coffee ado. Say a woo Wednesday, a woo a queer dad. Yen and unknown, almost say, O crab, O crab, the subine characteristics, almost say, O cannibal of more say, control it. Obia or penny a man or non a person, control it. Advocate or camafo or camafo, lawyer, solicitor, judge. Because you're president or you're controlling, or you're a or you're a or you're a papa, or you're an advocate, or you're a profession actually, or you're a lawyer, the profession no more. But you're a crown, you're a crown, so I'm not a crown, so take. So they make a sound on the crown so tea. Yen and an almost what can you get to on Wednesday mornings? Or my warm a creada. Or my cat was a SCA show with your pa. A crying with eye dangerous. Crying with eye dangerous. But Wednesday, or my cash you. I mean, show us. Almost say devil, your friend of one son. All the time. So almost the demon become one. Almost the cry demon your friend of Kweku no. Almost the Kweku Bonsam. Are they? Because Bonsam to you, it 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 me here anyone. It me here kujo, kwani ifia. But the accepted norm. Obi your friend of kujo, Obi say we Kweku Bonsam. But your friend of Kweku. That's number one. But show on the flip side, you know, almost have a friend, your, your hero, your folklore hero. Ah, your name is Ono, or Ben Jane, all the time. Or they were time for the far left, or they never far right, or they never be here, not enough for her, not the next year. They will be one to say you didn't put you. Almost first, our folklore hero, no, so no. Kweku Anansi. Kweku Anansi. Into one Kweku. So, who Kweku? Nasu Oye Odima Fo. Nasu Odima. 
na so o yo bi a openya ma wo ne penso ba ne penso no se eya ma wa wo wo be din kuni wo wo be si ye wo 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 ye no wo be si no e be ti se roller coaster cause e ana se story na ye ka no ko e ko ana se story o de fa fa o de be fa or the best fire, or the best fire, or the best fire, or the best dodge, or the best fire. Oh, baby, you know, what do you want me? Could you go and answer? Because you demand, or you demand for. But, so, you know, you know, Bon Sama. Ah, boy. You demand, you know. You demand, you know. Because I don't know. We selfish. I don't want to know again. On you, I don't want to I don't want to be sick. I'll be on this channel. I don't want to be missing this disc. I don't want to be sick. Who bompire? Bompire said, As I say, what's for you? We want us to free a peer. That's a so so yeah. We go and answer. I don't intend time. And take time. It doesn't break easily or foolishly. Asso. That's a banner, sir. That's a good one. That's a good one. And the insurance come on. In Shira and come. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It will get to a point. We won't need the government's help to make the scheme work nationwide, even Africa wide. Why? It's very simple. As as this scheme is going on, we've had, we have a lot of welders and a lot of industries here that we can prop up. We can prop up to make us bins, cheap bins that can be can be put anywhere, that will be freely available everywhere in this area where we're testing. But get this. Of all the plastics we collect, when we're sorting them, we will sort them into categories of, of say, Coca-Cola, this, that, that, that. And we will weigh the damage Coca-Cola is actually causing in our environment that we have been able to pick up so far. That all the water companies, all the water sachet companies, as a whole, so funding for, for this project, they will have to chip in. It, it won't be a matter of they will have a choice of chipping in or not chipping in. It will be a matter of chipping or the government will get involved and make you chip in. Do you know why? Because you are causing a mess and you're profiteering from the mess, but you are not adding and you're not contributing to cleaning your mess. They have to sponsor our adverts that, and they have to support our adverts that reinforce the message of the benefits of keeping your nation clean, of keeping your locality clean. They will be hands on with us. Why? Because we are not just keeping our nation clean, we are building a nation of nation cleaners in every way in politics, in, in, in governing, in everything. 
We're building wealth for our citizens. And these are citizens they're profiteering from. They're killing our environment. But they're benefiting from it. They can chip into that benefit to help keep our environment alive. So this is not an initiative that's begging for your support. No, it's an initiative that's based on your rights to trade. On your rights to trade. Here. The work of governance is not necessarily in the hands of the ones that have been picked to govern. It's in the hands of all of us. You have to contribute your best to help for the greater good of all of us. Don't wait for one person. One person. Imagine. One person to think for 20 million of us.